Hi guys, so I haven't made a video for a while, but I basically was going through my channel just to see what kind of video I should do next. I realised that I haven't really spoken about what veganism is or why I chose to go vegan and just everything about that basically. So I thought I'd start with the definition, um, so I got my laptop out. Um, so the definition is a person that does not eat or use animal products. Um, and then that's just the kind of Google version. So I wanted to read you the definition from the Vegan Society. It's, veganism is a way of living which seeks to exclude, as far as it is possible, all forms of exploitation of and cruelty to animals for food, clothing, or any other purpose. So I think that explains it a little bit better than the first one because I think there's like ethics behind it. It's not just uh, a diet choice so I think that goes into it a little bit better. Second uh, like question that I thought I would talk about is how did I go vegan and why? So basically, when I was really young, I've always felt really empathetic towards animals. I've always loved them. I don't think I've met a person that says they're not an animal lover in some form. I've always grown up with cats as uh, pets when I was younger. I went to my uncle's farm when I was younger and got to feed animals and watch them being born. So I've had a lot of exposure to like all forms of animals and I think that's why I'm so empathetic. So I remember watching a programme, I think it was Jamie Oliver or Gordon Ramsay, and they were actually bringing up, they were like rearing some uh, livestock in their garden, some sheep I think, to raised with their children and then they were going to kill them and eat them to show the process to people that watch those kind of programs so that they understand where their food came I from. I think about 10 years old, maybe a little bit older, and I just remember watching this program and realising and having that like click moment where I was like, how can I look after a cat in my house and love it so much and treat it with so much respect and then eat an animal that's bigger, that feels more, that is more intelligent, like pigs are more intelligent than dogs. And I just remember being a kid and being like, okay, I can't do this. So I went up to my mum and I said, mum, can I go vegetarian please? And she was like, you can't go vegetarian because your body will not grow and you won't, you know, get the right nutrients into your body. Because at the time, we didn't really know anything about vegetarian diets or vegan diets or whatever. So I had to wait, I think, until I was like 11 or 12 to go vegetarian properly. I kind of forced it upon my family. Um, so I would get vegetarian meals at school. So from the age of about 11 to 12 up to, ooh, I'm not sure, 15 or 16, I think I was a vegetarian. And then I started eating meat again, I think, when I was sort of 17 or 18 possibly, or I dabbled a bit before that, because I think I started going out with friends a lot more, I started going to college, and it was less acceptable in my friend groups to be a vegetarian. I know how silly that sounds, but I was easily led astray and I basically just thought oh it's just too much people are just going to take the piss out of me forever I'm not going to do this and it kind of I lost my moral backing because people were just telling me they were stupid. I remember being in college and like people laughing at me because I was one of those vegetarians that would say I was a vegetarian but then I'd go and eat like a bacon bap at the weekend or like in break so I was a really like, fl I didn't really have that moral backing to what I was doing and I I didn't really understand what I was doing at the time. I had the, um, I had the lovely thought that I was doing something really good and that I was, you know, trying my best, but in actual fact I was probably doing not much. Uh, I think it was more of an ego thing at that point, so. I had a few years eating meat and I became a chef, so it became increasingly more difficult to be a vegetarian. I kind of went in and out of eating meat and being a vegetarian for a few years. Um, and then I got to a certain age where I was just like, I'm gonna go veggie. And then a few years after being veggie, uh, a documentary called oh, Cowspiracy. I watched Cowspiracy and I also used to watch Freely Banana Girl, if anyone knows of her. And she's 
known for being quite blunt in the vegan in like in the vegan YouTube community. She's very blunt, but she is factual and she just doesn't have time for crap. So her method actually really spoke to me. And what I've learned along my journey is that people like that do not speak to everyone, but I'm very lucky and very thankful that she did speak to me. Her bluntness cut through my um, my fleeting veganism, vegetarian kind of ethics. I don't know how to explain it, but she cut through that and told me all the facts that I didn't really want to hear, but I listened and I watched and found it really great. So from there, I watched Cowspiracy, watched Dominion a few years later, so that I was up to date with everything. And uh, there's been some incredible things released on Netflix and all over the internet you can find horrible videos that you don't really want to watch but if you're paying for that kind of thing I think it is so important that you watch and truly understand what you're paying for because as a vegetarian I had no clue what that was doing to animals still and I think a lot of people are vegetarian on the basis that they are doing it for animals and animal cruelty and um and that they're doing it to prevent, you know, it's good for the environment, all of the factors that vegans think of as well. Um, but yeah, was very unaware of the egg industry, was very un un unaware of uh, the dairy industry and how cruel it is and how bad for the environment it was. So yeah, that was my journey into veganism and I've been vegan for I think over three years now, so sticking out. Everyone said it would be a phase, but here I am. <laughs> um, and yeah, I love it. There's so much good food. It's just, yeah. I wish I'd gone vegan sooner. Like when I was vegetarian, I wish I'd had someone to show me what I'd seen earlier and encouraged it. It's always kind of, I've grown up in kind of a small town in the countryside where farming is all around the outskir outskirts of our town. So all the pubs are very like meaty. Uh, so where I worked was incredibly like, you have your meat with your veg and that's what everyone does. And you know, that's just how we were brought up and that's what we do and that's what's healthy. So it's ingrained from a young age, that's what you do. So it's incredibly hard to break out that barrier when you've been taught that from a young age. I was really lucky with um, the whole cooking side of veganism because I think some people really struggle with uh, the transition from meat to, you know, vegetarian to vegan. Um, so I trained to be a chef for a while so I think that process was a lot easier for me and because I'd been vegetarian before the process in general was a lot easier because I could just replace things and have a go and experiment for fun and not worry too much about messing things up or anything like that. Um, so I would say to anyone that's actually interested in having a go, just swap the little things at a time. So like I started with my milk, I swapped that out and then I stopped eating eggs a long time ago because I, I didn't like them, I thought they tasted funny, I thought they had a weird texture and where they come from just has always made me really uncomfortable. Even as a child when I ate meat um, I would ask for the white to be taken off because it was rubbery and it would make me feel really uncomfortable because it was just gross. Um, and I was a very picky eater with meat as well. I thought it was really gross from a young age. So I just think I had that connection quite young. Um, but yeah, I started with changing my milk over, stop eating eggs, um, and cheese, to be quite honest, I didn't find difficult. I know that's one of the things that people find really, really hard because obviously if you're vegetarian, cheese is like something you put on a lot of your food. I think people have this really bad idea of what a vegan cheese is like. Like when I first went vegan, the vegan cheese range was pretty shocking. Some of it's a bit weird, but it's like anything in life. You don't just try one type of cheese, even if it's dairy. You don't try one type of cheese and go, oh, I don't like that, so I'm never trying that again. You go and try a Red Leicester or a Wensleydale and then you find something you like. It's exactly the same premise for vegan food. You don't just go, oh, I've tried oat milk, hate it, that's it. You know, if you're really doing it for 
animals and you're putting your ego aside and you're putting what you think others might think of you aside or your taste buds aside you can go wait a minute I'm gonna actually just try a different milk. I also tried out lots of meat replacements so, so there are a lot of different types of veganism there's like really healthy people that just eat like raw or uh, a lot of vegetables and fruit they're probably the best example of veganism because that's really naturally what we're supposed to eat but I'm not one of those people and oof, should be but I'm not I really liked my takeaway food and my bad food so I sort of um, flip between both I do like days where I'm uber healthy and then I'll have like cheat days where I go mad um, so there's lots of ice cream now there's meat replacements there's takeaways there's like everything you can imagine now full of protein and all of the nutrients that you need not necessarily in the takeaways but you know so I really wanted to make this video because through my journey of being vegan I've had so many like different questions from different people I actually had one lady it shocked me that she thought this but you have to like realize not everyone has been shown the same things and I think that is one of the biggest shocks to my system was a lady it like you know she was an adult and I I was talking about milk and why she asked me why I didn't drink milk and I said because it's you know it's for that cow that cow is a mammal so that is for her calf it is not for anyone else they only produce milk when they're pregnant contrary to belief um, but you know she said to me so if you had a baby would you not feed your baby that milk your milk and I was like I just could not understand that thought process at all but I think what she was thinking was the milk is bad um, it didn't really make any sense but it just shocked me and you have to just remember and think that not everyone has been taught the same things and not everyone has grown up going on farms seen what actually happens um, so I think that's one thing that's really important to keep in your brain when you're talking to people and explaining to people about veganism like I then said to her so it's natural for us to have our milk for our babies but having another animal's milk is not actually natural it's just something that we've been taught to do over years whoever first thought to do that was pretty weird I'm not gonna lie so my next question is what veganism means to me so I just wanted to talk a bit about um, why and this, the things that I do as a vegan so I do not use any products from any animal this hat is made from cotton my shoes are Doc Martens but they're the vegan range so they're not leather I often have people go you're wearing leather though and I'm like well I'm not a lot of the uh, grains that we grow in this country and in actually other countries a lot poorer countries we use a majority of that to feed animals and then we only use a tiny bit of that grain so it's crazy how much water is used just to supply uh, meat when we could be using it for all of that vegetation feeding more people in the world there's like way more to veganism than just um, looking poncy and thinking you know I've had so many people that think that I think I'm better than them because I'm vegan which is the complete uh, opposite it's like you want to help people it's a humanitarian thing it's it's not it's not I'm better than you it's you should do this because you'll feel better and the world will do better you're helping your future generations by going vegan so it's it's really not anything like that so I have uh, my Instagram which is vegetarian recipes which I will link below that has loads of food and you can literally ask me any question about food or anything that you want to switch over or have a go with or even if you just have a question like where do you get your protein from or I'm currently doing Slimming World if anyone wanted to try out a week at doing a vegan Slimming World diet I could help with showing you the kind of things I eat or you know anything like that I am really happy to help the question what veganism means to me is not just about you know makeup and all of that and diets 
it's also about animals so I feel like back to the point where I said I'm very empathetic I'm like after watching Cowspiracy, Dominion, Forks Over Knives, all of those kind of things I would really urge you to go and watch them I'll link those below as well and if you can just go in with an open mind and try and watch if you if you contribute to like dairy or meat you should really really watch them because if you're comfortable in your belief that what you are doing is okay and okay for the environment and your health then you shouldn't have a problem in watching what you're paying for um I know it's really hard and really uncomfortable sometimes to watch stuff like that but it's really important if you are paying for something to be comfortable with what you are paying someone else to do because you have to think a lot of the people in these slaughterhouses are actually migrant the suicide rate for people that work in slaughterhouses is ridiculous so it's not just about animals about the environment it's also about people and migrants which they are taking for granted and using to do the sh sh crappy jobs that people don't want to do but you literally have to think about every single level of it. It's not just as simple as, oh, I'm being a fussy eater and I don't want to eat that chicken or dairy or, you know, there's so much to it. And once you start, if you start and watch one of those, I would recommend Dominion or Cowspiracy is less violent. So if you want to watch something uh, less violent, maybe forks over knives as well but just be aware that you could see some violence so the other thing i wanted to talk about was after i watched those programs i immediately felt extremely angry and let down by government by people uh by parents friends everyone around me that hadn't looked into this and hadn't told me because i feel like it's not their fault because they're not aware and we've all been kind of trained not to look and that is why slaughterhouses don't have glass walls they are hidden they have big fences they have cameras but you have to you know search for those kind of footage it's horrible it's always been hidden from us and I feel like when you first watch those you might be incredibly hurt by what you see and just to be prepared for the shock of it and I feel like a lot of people when they first go vegan are very angry like I know I was I was incredibly angry at humans at everything that was going on the government it's just crazy once you start to look into it, it sounds like a conspiracy theory I actually sound like insane to people that don't know but just look it up if you you know if that's all you do today just watch like a little bit of cowspiracy or dominion you know just look up something and see what that sparks in you see if that does anything and then ask me any questions if you have any i hope you enjoyed the video i hope i kind of cleared up why i'm vegan and how i got to where i am um and yeah like i said if you are interested at all just look at the things that i'm uh linking below and just just have a look see see what they make you feel and yeah i'm always here if you need to talk or if you want to ask any positive questions um yeah so thank you for watching i hope this helps in some way clear up why i'm vegan um yeah thank you see you again bye